Hey everyone, my name is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, producer, songwriter, musician, and educator. And in this course, I'll help you decide what DAW is right for you. Digital audio workstations have come a long way since the advent of digital recording. And there are so many options nowadays, it can be a bit confusing to pick the right DAW for your needs. There's different feature sets, use cases, tools and plugins, learning curves to get over, and of course the price. In this course, I'll break down each of these things for all of the main DAWs on the market so you can get a better idea of what DAW is right for your needs. There's three main feature sets that I want to focus on in this course. Number one, audio recording and editing capabilities. Whether it be recording yourself as a solo artist, recording your band, doing voiceovers, or even doing live sound recordings, does the DAW have an easy to use editing and comping feature set so you can quickly and efficiently make great sounding recordings? Some are better than others. Number two, the mixing and mastering environment, the stock mixing plugins and mixing tools. Some DAWs come with a comprehensive set of plugins for mixing and mastering, while others fall short. Some DAWs even offer additional dedicated mastering environments and mastering plugins. And finally, number three, MIDI sequencing and software instruments, or virtual instruments as they're often called. Some DAWs were made for MIDI and music production, arrangement, composition, and even live electronic music performance. Others you can tell are a bit lacking on the MIDI features, and that's totally fine. A rock band has very different needs than a DJ or a performance artist. I've had a unique situation in my career where I've used just about every modern DAW professionally at one point or another. I started off with Cubase as my first DAW that I actually made professional recordings with. I picked up Logic Pro and Reason for producing and songwriting at home. I learned Pro Tools out of necessity at my first studio recording job. I was thrown into the world of Studio One when running live sound and making live recordings. I picked up Ableton Live for quick sampling and music production on the fly. And Reaper I picked up just out of necessity for my online university students so they could have a cheap DAW to work with at home. So join me as I break down the features for each of these and help you decide what DAW is best for you.